Let's go get them again. So here we are, me reviewing another fragrance that is simply titled by just one letter. Starting to be a new fad in the fragrance industry. We have Y from YSL. I understand why they would call it Y, because why would you want to release something like that? But uh, here we have K. This is the Eau de Toilette version, by the way, um, by Dolce Cabana. K, I'm assuming, uh, means king because of the crown on top of the K and this thing right here on top of the bottle. Now, this thing right here, even before trying out this fragrance, uh, Dolce Cabana wins in, in one category and one category only. You have officially the worst cap in the fragrance industry. This is, this is hideous. Let's go. Fragrance family, welcome to the Rogue Doy channel. I'm your host, Mark. Today, we're unboxing, sorta, kinda, this is a tester, and I'm giving a first impression on K, the Eau de Toilette. I, I am uh, well aware that they already have an EDP of this stuff out. Um, this was released back in 2019, so it's still newish to me. Um, how can I start this story? This unboxing, you're probably not watching this. You're looking at this knowing my taste. Um, the name itself, the cap, the cap, oh, that cap. Uh, the demographic that this is geared towards, this is definitely not for me. Um, this is not targeted for me. Uh, so honestly, this thing never really hit my radar. I saw it on Fragrantica and I was like, huh. Look at that cap. That is a pretty ugly cap. This is going to be pretty bad juice. I could already tell with the blue juice. I was thinking, yeah, this is just going to be another blue from Dolce Cabana. Uh, I knew it wasn't for me, so I just hard pass. But alas, I do have a YouTube channel. I do want to give my thoughts on current top sellers from time to time. And even though this is my initial thoughts, um... I feel like I'm not going to like it, but we're going to see. You never know. Maybe I'll just remove the cap and I'll be happy with this one. So let's delve into K and let's see. Um, this is a very first impression. I've never sprayed this stuff, never wanted to, but let's see. I finally got a bottle. Let's take a look at it. So here we go. K Eau de Toilette from the house of Dolce Cabana. Hey, if you have time, please uh, put in the comments below if you wanted me to purchase the newest uh, release from Dolce & Gabbana, the uh, KEDP. So let's smell this thing. Let's see what I got. Oh. Mm. Okay. Um, it's, it's sharp, it's fresh, uh, mass appealing. Um, generic it's got a synthetic aquatic tinge to the fragrance um it has some herbal tendencies to the fragrance too so we got some clary sage um we got some some lavender here um, man I, I really hope k does not mean king because uh this is gonna have a hard time being king of just the dolce cabana line here um it has some citruses, but the juniper here is the, um, I feel like it's the star of the show. Juniper, when done, when done right, is fine as a secondary note. I never really liked it as a primary. Um, there's a lot of, dare I say, really cheap smelling, really terrible smelling fragrances that are, they smell cheap. And they utilize juniper as their, their primary in the opening. This has that. It also has a synthetic aquatic tinge. The herbal take doesn't really help it. Man, um, mass appeal. I don't know. It's got some herbal tendencies, though. The clary sage is there, too. Uh, lavender. So is it easy to smell? Yeah, it's, it's a basic fragrance. Um, very much generic. I kind of knew going in what I was going to get. Um. Yeah, unfortunately for K, not for me. Um, it, it's one of those fragrances. Is it blue? I don't know. I don't really have... Uh, it it kind of tippy-toes in the blue section, but it really feels like it's all 
juniper heavy, some herbal tendencies. Um, it is a fresh fragrance, but nothing new to the game, nothing exciting. I feel bad for the people that pay full retail, like, I mean, $100 plus on this thing when it first came out. This is Bargain Bin. <laughs> there should be a big B on it for Bargain Bin. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately for me, this one right here doesn't do it for me. We'll see how it goes with testing again. Um, I'm always open. Um, i even though I, I still had a preconceived notion about this release, just because of the blue cap, the note breakdown, it just, I, I knew that this was not going to click with me. However, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in the vault just like every other fragrance. I will test it. I will do a pop the cherry and I will do a full-fledged review on it with more testing. Maybe it'll grow on me. But as of today, this thing um, is making Dylan Blue look good. That's not a good thing. You don't want to make Dylan Blue look good. <laughs> Poor gay. Um, now that you heard my take, I would love to see yours in the comments below. Please let us know what you think about this particular release. And again, you can go, you know, you can you can thumb down this video if you want, but um, definitely give us your take down below. Uh, love to hear different takes on a particular release, especially like a, uh, a top seller like this, something that is kind of popular in the fragrance industry. So as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent. Mm, choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.